All right, we're just out here swinging this morning, and I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of the 10 by 10 um, front section of my garden, my food forest. Uh, it's a small space, like I said, about, about 10 feet by 10 feet, so it's pretty much just a, a pear tree guild. So in the middle here, I have this moon glow dwarf pear tree, so uh, it, it will not get quite as high as the roof. Um, but it'll, you know, and it'll cast shade on most of this area eventually. On the edges, I have some jostaberry bushes. So I have four each, one on each of the edges. And I have a variety of herbs kind of um, cascading throughout the middle. So some sage and some lavender. Um, some creeping or wild thyme acting as a ground cover. I eventually want to add some more diversity to my ground cover and replace that but it's good for now i have some clover that is you know you'll kind of see more come summer these little wisps popping up here are are just um bits of like field garlic that i'm kind of letting stay i think they're gonna act um as a deterrent for some pests and i can always pull them up if they kind of get annoying or in the way you see a lot of strawberries here. I planted just one, maybe two strawberry plants, and I probably have like 10 or 15 now. They really multiply. Um, and back there in that corner, I have a grapevine that I want to vine up along this and up and over. We'll see how that goes. And here I have some, some bloody dock planted underneath the pear tree and I also have some chamomile which you can't really see right now but it should come back up in the spring and then I have um, two nice large rhubarb plants kind of here-ish and here-ish and I'm um, expecting the rhubarb plants to capture a lot of water and funnel them towards the the tree the tree's roots now the only thing about this that I am a little nervous about is that this whole garden gets um, so much sun this is south here so just the, the sun comes up and it just gets I mean like as much sun as you possibly could get in the city and also it's surrounded by all this concrete and asphalt so this whole zone actually starts I think it's starting to perform um, like a like a growing zone lower so almost like a Virginia garden so uh, this pear tree might bloom before the other ones in the back yeah so the one thing I'm a little worried about is just that this pear tree is gonna start to bloom before the other ones in the back and I'll have to find some way to get it pollinated if there's no other ones on our block which there aren't to pollinate or I could convince one of my neighbors to plant a pear tree uh, one last thing I thought of in the garden I'm really excited about this this is a camellia sinensis plant or a tea tree plant um, you can use the leaves to make black tea, green tea, oolong tea. Um, typically, it would be a little hard to grow in this area, um, but because because you know it's a little too cold for these, uh, you know, usually. But because of all the warmth factors that I mentioned earlier, I think it's going to thrive. I think it's going to do great. I have some yarrow planted in here too. Probably something else too that I'm not that I'm not seeing because everything's underground or dormant right now. But this is the the bulk of it. Um, I'm still trying to plant some more nitrogen fixers. I think I'm getting some like gaumi, maybe a gaumi bush I can plant kind of near underneath the pear tree. I'm probably going to spread in more clover, things like that, just to fix more nitrogen in the soil, especially with all the wood chips I have. They tend to draw up nitrogen uh, for the first year or two. And I'm um, trying to diversify my ground covers a little bit more, but this is just, just it getting started right now.